how's it going? Uh, I'm here to keep you company if you need it. Uh, if you don't need it, that's great. If you have company, uh, you know, in the room with you right now, if you've had like, you know, if you invited company for a visit and you have people with you right now, I don't think you should be watching this. I mean, unless you're really not getting along with your company and you really are, oof, you played Yahtzee, you know, you finished Yahtzee, it was, it was fine, but now you don't know what to do. Maybe you'll turn on YouTube. Um, but there's a lot of things on YouTube you might want to watch uh, and not this. I am supposed to be keeping you company if you don't, I don't know, if you don't have any, you know? And not because you're like a social, you know, pariah, but because sometimes you just, you know, you're like doing stuff and you want to turn something on. But you don't want it to be that interesting. And you don't want it to be um, like scary or like vulgar. <laughs> You're not gonna get any vulgarity here. Actually, you won't. You won't, because while I seriously doubt that YouTube will ever pay me more than about a nickel, uh, like total, uh, not per episode, but like total. Um, you know, if you say bad words and you talk about, you know, questionable things, you know, they, they ding you. This does not stop people. It definitely does not stop people. So, you know, the problem with YouTube is that um, I have to watch the stuff, you know, to upload it, whatever. I have to go through and make sure it's at least passable uh, to put on the internet because um, it's so it's so important to put just, just the best quality of things on the internet. Um, you know, I'll know if I say something in the episode that's like soul searching or like very profound, you know, and so, I, so I'll, I'll warn you. I'll warn you at the beginning of an episode if it's like, I really want you to listen to this. For real. Like, I want you to stop what you're doing. I don't want to be background today. I want to connect with you about something very important. I will tell you. Um, I will tell you. You will know. I don't think it's going to happen that often. Who knows? This is an experiment. But uh, otherwise, like, you know, just, just, you don't have to... You don't have to, you don't have to like it, um, but you can just turn it on. Turn me on. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm waiting. <laughs> um, hope you're well. Hope you're well. Uh, it's, it's London. Uh, it's, it's um, an afternoon uh, in London and this chair is squeaking. Oh, I, one thing about this uh, YouTube business, the comments. Okay. I have, oh, I have a... I have a problem, uh, and that is, you know, the comment section. And I, for the first couple episodes that I did, you know, I had Eric, uh, my husband, read me the comments, um, and they were so great. Like they were great. Um, people were like, "This is fun. I totally had you on in the background. I love it. Um, you know, you're funny, or like, I don't know." The people were like encouraging, which was awesome. But I know it won't be that way all the time. Oh, and by the way, I do agree with a lady who said the ads were just like terrible. And I don't know how to do this. So like when I upload a video, I click on like monetize or not. And I have choices of like which ads to play. This is all new for me and I didn't know what to do. So I was like ads, I hate ads, okay. I recommend doing YouTube Red or whatever, the premium, where you pay like $10 a month they're so rich. Um, you pay $10 a month and you have no ads. I mean, I just, I hate it when I'm watching something and I'm interrupted by an ad. It would be great if right now YouTube plays an ad. Um, but I, oh, I just hate that. So I pay for the premium thing and I don't have to, to watch ads. Um, but you can, as a content creator, you can uh, reduce the number of ads that you know the audience sees or the viewer sees, and you don't have to have ads at all. And that would be ideal. I would like to do that. Perhaps I shall do that because I, you know, this isn't about, you know, it's not about ads in the background. This is Mary keeps you company, not like, you know, I don't know, Tide detergent keeps you company. Tide doesn't keep you company. Tide can't talk. These ads, you know, it's terrible. So, so maybe I'll just take all the ads off, you know, because come on. 
<laughs> come on, like why, you know, yeah, actually, okay, so starting now, you won't see ads. I'm realizing this in real time. There will be no ads on this, uh, on this channel, at least for now. You know, if I have, if I have like, let me think, if people start actually watching this, which everybody thinks, you know, that they make a vlog and they're gonna be like the next YouTube sensation, which probably is not a good thing. Like, do you really wanna be YouTube famous? I don't think so. Um, because the comments are terrible. I'll get back to that. But, um, you know, like if, if a zillion people started watching these videos and subscribing and liking, it might be like, you know, maybe I'll just monetize these videos because it'd be great to just, you know, just be swimming in YouTube money, right? But that doesn't happen. It, it just doesn't happen to most people. Um, it's like when you're selling your condo or your house or something like that. Um, I have so many of them. I just That's when you're selling one of them. Just kidding. But um, I, I put my condo up on the market once and uh, I was like, I asked my realtor, I was like, I don't know. I mean, who knows? You know, bidding, bidding wars happen. It could happen. She was like, mm -hmm. I mean, you think you're... you're house is going to just, you know, sell in a second and people are going to, you know, have the bidding war on your condo. And usually that doesn't happen. And usually you don't get YouTube famous. And all of this is to say, why have ads? Why have ads? I don't want to do it to you. I don't want to do it to me. The ads are gone. So that comment came through that one lady was like, I loved it, but I can't watch this because there was an ad every two seconds. And I really respect that. I hope you come back. I'll find you in the comments section. I'll find you. And I will tell you what I've done. And, um, and I feel real good about it. Uh, and so a comment, you know, like that is like really helpful. But to read the comments is to... The social media people will say, you've got to engage with your audience. And that's not just like an interesting, that's not just a vocabulary term, you know, it's not just like, you know, engage with them. Engagement is a, is like a, it's like a metric. I mean, it, it is like how much engagement, this is a, this is jargon at this point for the, the internet, you know, social media video world. And I'm sure all of you know that already, but like you have percentages of, you know, engagement. How much do you engage with people on your channel? or on YouTube and the more you the more engagement you have the more the algorithm recommends you or the more people will find you or you'll your page or your account will be suggested to more people and i i understand that that's important and I, that would be great you have to sort of steal yourself you know for for what's coming because you're going to scroll through the comments and most people will be delightful and great and then you'll see something horrible and it might even not it might not be from a troll who's like you know I'm going to do something terrible to you which is awful but it's probably something that would really hurt my feelings like oh oh like for me like one that would definitely happen and I've gotten it on my my blog uh, or anytime I do kind of anything other than quilt related content, I'll get something like, uh, I came to you for quilting. <laughs> like, like you have no value to me if you're not, you know, doing quilting content. And, you know, I've heard that before and it's fine, but it does kind of sting. So, so reading the comments is uh, troubling. It's like, maybe I did, maybe I did enough putting the content out there and maybe Maybe my job is done, you know, maybe it's the comment section is for people to talk to each other. But I don't know. I want, I want you to feel involved. So I'm working that out. I read the comments for the first couple episodes. Eric read them to me. He was my filter, you know, if anything was just awful, he didn't read it. So that's pretty good. Uh, but I can't ask him to do that every time. If you're really watching this right now, like if you're like watching this, are you sure? Are you sure you want to? <laughs> Would it be better to have this, um, you know, stream of consciousness on in the background? It's, it's a conversation that, you know, goes like this all over the place. And it's me having a conversation with the video camera. So it's a strange situation. Today, I'm going to pull a question out of the hat, the pink hat. And uh, it's a philosophical question. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, we could talk about anything. We could talk about the weather. We could talk about the weatherman. 
Uh, we could talk about London, and I'm going to in a, in a vlog coming up. Um, but now we're going to go back to like OG um, Mary Keeps You Company because the first couple episodes were, you know, me drawing a philosophical question out of this, this hat and giving it my best shot. So we're going to do that right now. Here's a bunch of philosophical questions in this hat that I got at a vintage market that if I was in sixth grade, I would have died to have this. Um, and I still, I really love it. I will wear it at some point. Okay, philosophical question. This is for me to talk to you. Oh. I better have some wine. There's not always wine on this channel. I mean, in the content, but there is right now. And you'll see why I might have wanted to do that. <clears throat> is humanity headed in the right or wrong direction? I'll repeat the question. Put down the vacuum, just so you know where this is going. Is humanity headed in the right or wrong direction? So, um, <clears throat> so this, uh, this channel is not interested in controversy. It's not interested in uh, getting into the algorithm of like, you know, I don't know, the worst, the worst of the worst content on the internet, I guess. So I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say because I don't want to talk about specific things. I don't want to talk about specific hot button issues, because that's not what this is about. You didn't come to me for my opinion on hot button issues, right? Go, go find some other company keeping blog, blog that's gonna be like, let me tell you what I feel about political issue. Um, I just, why would you listen to me about that? Who cares? Everyone has an opinion. It's like they say, opinions are like pink hats. Everybody's got one, or should. So, you know, to say is humanity headed in the right or wrong direction, you know, it raises the possibility of me saying, well, it's headed in the right direction because blah, 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 specific thing. Or it's headed in the wrong direction because of blah, 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 specific thing. So I have to think carefully about how to answer this because I will answer it, but I want to answer it in a way that will not uh, divide us, uh, you know, as people who um, just want to survive, I don't know, we want to be content, you know, uh, and the more we're divided, the less that's possible. Um, and so if I say something specific, then people will, will just, just hate and, you know, awful internet language will occur. Okay, so I'm panicking sometimes uh, when I look around at what's happening uh, in terms of uh, people believing certain things, people not believing certain things, uh, uh, like looking at looking out the window, say. Some people look out the window and they see a thing, whatever it is, I don't know, a cat walking across the yard. And right now it seems in, in Western society, at least, this is what's happening, you know, in the United States and in a lot of places here in Britain, you know, a bunch of people can look out and see this cat walking across the yard. And some people will say, that's a cat walking across the yard. And, and other people will say, are we sure that that's a cat walking across the yard? What is, you know, who's behind, who, who put that cat there? Um, is that a real cat? Um, who, you know, what does it mean? What does that cat actually mean? There's different realities, different, um, approaches to what we see. Do you see how careful I'm being? And this is very weird because there's nothing new under the sun. Everything is chaos. Always there's war, there's famine, there's pandemics. Um, people rise to power and they fall, uh, people fall in love and, you know, they live and die and whatever. And, and, you know, a lot of times we think like, oh, this has never happened before. Everything's, you know, so different now. And like, you know, 
it's you're just a human being and it's terrifying and weird and and uh you know nothing that extraordinary happens uh you know from generation to generation i mean it's just nothing that nothing new happens so your country goes to war oh my god that's really crazy but it has happened before um empires rise and fall you know if you feel like your country is in decline well you know welcome to the party because you're not the only society or the only country who's who's felt like their country was in decline uh and a lot of times you know they were right <laughs> right you're they thought, oh no, our country is falling apart, and it did fall apart. So, so there, so there's nothing new under the sun, except <laughs> now I, I'm like, oh no, this is different. Now we're different. But what's really interesting about what's happening right now in America and here is that we're not agreeing on on reality. We're, we're not agreeing on what's true or not. And not just like, well, I saw this, I saw the cat from this, you know, side of the, the street. And like, well, I saw it from this side of the street. And, you know, we had conflicting views on, you know, how, how fat the cat was or, you know, what house it came from. It's not like that. It's not like uh, that simple. These days, people are, are just um, scared. I think people are very scared. And they, and that's fine, that makes sense, because the world's really scary and nothing makes sense most of the time. But, you know, people are saying, are reading into things, and it feels really good to, like, like explore an idea, and it feels really good to be somebody who, who digs deep, you know, who, who wants to find answers and who wants to do research, and that's amazing. It's an amazing feeling to say, you know, I, this isn't an, an assignment a teacher gave me. This isn't something I have to do for my job. I just want to look deeper at a thing. I mean, that's that's the best feeling in the world to, to want to question. It's so great. But I think, I think the internet and, um, and some bad actors have, um, are manipulating that in people. They're sort of taking people's natural curiosity about the world and about uh, the human condition and the human experience, you know, all this philosophy stuff. I think the internet has made, has, has taken that and really taken that innocent, beautiful impulse that people have and used it, used it for something I, I don't know, nefarious purposes, because I think a lot of the times the things that people are looking into and curious about, they go online and uh, they're finding lies they're discovering things and excited about this and that, but a lot of it is is false information. It it just it just is. It just is like the cat's just crossing the street. That's it. That's all the cat's doing. But this internet stuff that's going on um, is manipulating a person into thinking that the cat is a robot, <laughs> or the cat you know is a shapeshifter. Is humanity headed in the right or wrong direction? I I don't feel too great about things right now. Um, I think that I think that the whole that um, you know religion is sort of that we're more a secular society more and more all the time at least in the United States. But the church used to be a place where people had community and uh, people knew your name. Right? It was like the pub. Sometimes it was the pub. I mean, I've been to churches where there's a bar in the basement. This blew my mind the first time I saw it, but like come to Chicago, there's a lot of bars, like full service bars at the bottom of the church. Amazing. So the less church people have, you know, a lot of times the less community they have. And I don't want to go to church. And I think church is like real weird, but people knew you and you knew people, you know, when everybody sort of went to church. And the less that we have that community center, call it that, unless we have that community center, um, the less, you know, we know each other. And, and so I think, I think humanity is, I don't know, we're not together that much anymore. We're on, we're on, uh, we're in a room by ourselves on the internet, talking to a camera alone to people we will never, many, most, most people we will never meet. And that's weird. It's weird and it's probably bad. 
um, I'm in it. This is the, the world I live in, and uh, I can't do much about it. I mean, this is the time in which I live, and there's really not anything I can do about that. I could eschew technology. I could go live in a commune. I could go live in a really small town and hang out uh, at the pub there or the coffee shop there um, and find that community again and never go online again. I could go to church, but I probably won't do that um, unless it hurts too bad how it's going now, you know, with the internet and everything. If it just if it just gets too painful, perhaps I'll get rid of the internet and everything and go go do things differently. But I think most people won't do that. Um, I'm not sure why. I think, you know, we like bright lights and flashy things, and the internet is very bright and flashy. So we're just naturally drawn to it. Um, computers are amazing, and they do such amazing things. And I think, you know... Humans are dumb, but they're also we're also really smart, and we're just like, oh my god, you know, I want to spend time with this toy, this computer, and and see what it can do. And so, I don't think we're going to give up the internet anytime soon. But I do think it's killing us. I do, because there's a lot, you know, there's lies out there. There's so many lies on the internet. It's hurting a lot of people who just, I don't know, who just want to know, who just want to know about the life and like how the world works. Um, that's a natural impulse, but I think what they're finding is, is garbage a lot of times. Listen, when the pink hat comes out, I don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> you better be vacuuming right now. And if you stopped, get back, get back to it. You gotta, you gotta vacuum. I have to vacuum. We all have to vacuum. And that's just the way life is. And it kind of sucks. It's pretty, it's boring sometimes. And it, you know, it's just not that fun, but it's, you just... That's welcome to the, you know, welcome to the, to the human race. It just, there's no answers. No one knows anything, but it's just a vacuum, you know? Okay. Um, I think I've done enough and I hope that you, that you followed that. Uh, I hope that you're, when you look online, you're using that bean of yours. It was really good. It's really good. So bye. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time on Mary Keeps You Company. Because sometimes you just need something on in the background. Am I right? I'm right. Let's listen to some jazz.